of um, sort of Brits going abroad. Uh, Vinnie Jones and the soccer hooligans in the thing, they're a pretty stereotypical group. Did you have uh, much of an interaction with them? And off the back of that, do you kind of perceive British people as a bit crazy or? I <laughs> know. Uh, I mean, I, I, I loved, I mean, I loved it. I loved hanging out with those guys. Um, I loved, uh, you know, to this day, I'm still a Man U fan. I'm sorry if anyone out there is not. Sorry. <laughs> That's not one of us. But okay. no. Come on, <laughs> Devils. Hey, come on, Devils. Uh, you know, they, hey, I know you guys, you guys say you talk sports. I mean, they had a really, I'm sorry to break away into this for a second. They had a really crappy start to the season. You got to give it to them. They came up, they were finished, what, third? So, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, yeah. Hog, was look, Hog was looking good. Their young players are looking good. Greenwood. Uh, the only thing I can't say is that uh, that left winger, that left midfielder, Williams. Williams, you step yeah. up your game, buddy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, sorry, what was the, what was the question? I was just saying, oh, uh, uh, no. think Brits are crazy. No, I mean, like, I'm a, I'm a, no, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sports fan. I'm actually kind of jealous of the, uh, the, you know, you know, and maybe it's, maybe it's my, my American naivete, but I, I am kind of jealous of the sports culture there, uh, in, in Great Britain. I mean, I think it's, you know, the way that, the way that y'all feel about football, is, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, it, it's a testament to the history and the culture. And uh, yeah, um, I mean, I'm jealous of everything except for, you know, throwing batteries and bags of pee. That, that we, I'm not interested, but just the, the like the chants and the songs and all that stuff. Um, uh, it's, uh, I, I, I find it, I find it quite, uh, quite charming. It's very different, isn't it? Because we watch a fair bit of American sport as well. The, like, the contrast in the crowds is very, like you said, it's a different culture. Yeah, it's a completely different culture. It's, um, you know, I think it actually kind of, uh, you know, not to get too far into the weeds of, of, you know, cultural philosophy or whatever, but I do think it, it reflects, um, you know, the different approaches. Uh, you know, I think Americans are, tend to be a little bit more individualistic. Whereas, uh, you know, people from Europe tend to be a little more, you know, kind of conscious of, of a shared, you know, common set of cultural um, yeah. wars, let's say. And so, you know, when you go to an American sporting event, you know, everyone kind of keeps himself. Yeah, sometimes we'll do the clapping thing all together, but it's nothing like uh, what you see in England with football where, you know, you know, 300 people will get together and they'll all kind of be of the same mind and, and, and they'll all know the same songs. I mean, the songs thing, we don't have songs in America. Yeah. but we don't have i mean well we do we, for college football college football is about the closest i would say uh you know college tackle football is about the yeah. closest i think we have to the the soccer the football culture yeah anymore. well every, yeah. every university has this, this war strangely it's war songs in 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 the u.s um right. everyone every <laughs> every university seems to have a war song and it's much the same yeah. really every, every, there's one song over here that's almost ubiquitous with any given team mm -hmm. yeah um you know like i like uh my dad went to my dad went to texas a&m and I, I like i know the aggie fight song so <laughs> like i it got passed down to me i didn't even go there so. 